So we're about to go to a birthday party. See y'all when I get there.
Mask, but I'm sick. So my people are getting ready to get in the car. I don't want to. Um, I don't want them to catch anything from me. But hey, hey, I don't think I ended up ended off the vlog from the party. So anyway, happy Father's Day. It's the day before Father's Day. I'm getting ready to go to the store to grab a few things. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog in the store because it's a neighborhood that I might not feel the most comfortable vlogging in the store. But let me show you some. This truck over here. See that van? It looks like some kind of um what do they call it? I forgot. You know where they steal the girls? Look, no windows or nothing. And it's parked there all the time, taking up space. We have alternate side of street parking. So twice a week, we got to move back and forth. And that's just taking up all that space. And I don't know who ran it is. And actually, it's illegal to park commercial vehicles on the street. I don't know what these people are doing. But you know I can't wait to move. I've been saying that forever, but I need my channels to blow up so I can have the money to move. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I'm vlogging in between songs. They're playing music in here. But it's not as crowded as I thought it was going to be. But it, I wanted to get these really good steaks that are on sale. So I'm going to go over here and get these... Um, Rip steak that's on sale. I love my steak, honey. This is them. So basically I got some stuff to make lasagna. I got a steak. I don't think I'm getting this. I don't like the way this big tag looks. I 
that came at the end. So I'm not getting as great. But these are the steaks that I was looking for. You're gonna have a good time. Look, we forgot our bags. Where we live, you gotta bring your own bags to the store. And since it's something new, we keep forgetting about it. So right now we're about to go to um, Burger King and grab something real fast. Even though I'd rather have Wendy's, but let's just see what that Burger King. If I know the person with me likes that that Burger King um, hot spicy chicken sandwich. And why is this car sitting here just blocking everything? Do y'all like Burger King or Wendy's better? Comment below. Let's see what they got. This is what the menu looking like. Uh, can you give me one second. Say it again. Uh, can you give me one second, please? fifth grade graduation and she's been lecturing us for about 15 minutes now. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw together a really fast corned beef hash because I really thought I was having Uber Eats tonight. So I'm just trying to make something fast. So I just, I'm gonna pour a little olive oil in this pot. See how my pot's all scratched up? Cause we use metal spoons and Instead of using the rubber spatulas, but then we started using the rubber spatulas so they won't mess up further. So now I'm just going to put a couple of pats of butter in here. Basically, I use the half a stick of butter. I'm just going to melt this butter. Now I cut up about 10 medium sized potatoes. I boiled them. I took the majority of the skin off. And I chopped up three cloves of garlic and three quarters of a uh, yellow onion. I'm gonna just put that in here. And I'm gonna take this potato masher and I'm gonna mash up the potatoes. Some people, like when you buy canned corned beef hash, 
it looks like the potatoes are diced but you can sit and dice them if you want to I'm just gonna mash these Now I'm just going to let this saute down in this butter and olive oil. Now I have two cans of this corn. Ow! I have two cans of this corned beef. And after this, finish sauteing a bit. I'm just going to open these cans and smash it right in there. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some of the seasoning into the potatoes before I put the meat. A little bit of seasoned salt. A little bit of ground black pepper. Now it looks like I put a lot of seasoning in it, but you have to remember I'm still going to put the meat inside of it. So now when it gets to the desired wellness or doneness or sauteness, I'm going to just open these cans of corned beef and put them in. Now I'm just going to plop this corned beef down in it. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to need a utensil to get it out. Sometimes they just oh, see slide out just like that. Now I'm just going to smush it together. And before I blend it completely in, I'm just going to put a teaspoon, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard in it. I just lowered the heat and I'm going to put this teaspoon of Dijon mustard in it. It's going to give it a little extra flavor. I'm going to just smash this in and mix it, blend it completely with the potatoes. Okay, so the meat is mashed. So I'm just gonna mix it in together. And make sure the mustard gets into every part and that is thoroughly blended after I finish blending this what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the meat get hot or let the meat brown up a little bit and I'm gonna pair it with some corn canned corn and some cornbread and the way I make my canned corn is I take one can of cream corn and I use one or two cans of whole kernel corn and I pour the whole kernel corn in the bottom of the pot because the cream corn burns real easily and then I put the one can of cream corn on top but I use one or two whole kernel depending on how many people I'm feeding 
Now I'm just going to let this cook up a little bit. I'm going to put the top on it as well. Here we are. We have our corned beef hash. We have our cornbread. And we have our cream corn. To be honest with y'all, I like a little ketchup on my corned beef hash. Y'all like it? Try it. You'll like it. Try it. You'll like it. Try it. You'll like it. 